Let's look at the following example that deals with standing waves. Let's suppose that a certain string vibrates at a frequency of 350 hertz. Now, if we increase the tension in our string by 50%, what will be the new frequency? Before we begin, let's look at our diagram. Let's suppose we have the following standing wave that is created by a frequency of 350 hertz. Now, our standing wave, our spring, is fixed at two ends by the following two walls. And when it oscillates with this frequency, it produces a certain tension in the cord. We want to calculate what will be the new frequency if we increase the tension in our core T by 50%. So if we multiply T by 1.5. So let's begin by recalling what the relationship between our velocity is and the frequency. So recall that the velocity of a wave is equal to taking the product of the wavelength and the frequency of that wave. And specifically for mechanical waves in strings, we can also use the following equation to calculate the velocity. So velocity is also equal to the square root of the tension divided by by our mu, where mu is simply the mass per unit length of our string. So notice that velocity is equal to this quantity as well as this quantity. So we can take this quantity and equate it to this square root. So we get that the product of the wavelength and the frequency is equal to the square root of the tension divided by our mu. So since we're looking for what the new frequency is, we have to use this equation and rearrange and solve for our frequency. So we see that frequency is equal to 1 divided by wavelength multiplied by the square root of tension in the cord divided by our mu. Now, let's suppose that F1 is the frequency of our wave before that increase, and F2 is the frequency of our wave after our increase. So we're looking for F2. Let's take the ratio of the frequency before the increase to the frequency after increase. So we want to find what the equation is of F1 divided by F2. Well, F1 is simply equal to 1 divided by lambda multiplied by the square root of T1 divided by mu, where T1 is our tension in the cord before our increase in tension. Now, F2 is simply equal to 1 divided by lambda multiplied by the square root of T2 divided by mu, where T2 corresponds to our tension after we increase the tension by 50%. So notice that we are given the fact that F1 is 350 hertz and we're also given that our T1 and T2 are related by the following equation. 1.5 multiplied by T1 is equal to T2. In other words, T2 is 50% greater than T1. So notice we can take F1 and plug in 350 for F1. In fact, we can also take T2 and replace T2 with 1.5 T1. So that means we get 350 divided by F2 is equal to the square root of T1 divided by 1.5 T1. Now, notice where we got the T1 divided by T2. If we go back to this equation, we see that our lambdas are the same and our mu's are the same. So we can cancel those quantities out. And that's exactly where we get this relationship. So now we could cancel the T1's out. We have T1 on top and T1 on the bottom. We can cancel those. And we're left with 350 divided by F2 is equal to the square root of 1 divided by 1.5. So we rearrange this equation and solve for our new frequency F2 and we see that the frequency after our 50% increase is equal to 350, our old frequency, divided by the square root of 1 divided by 1.5. 
So if we plug this into the calculator, we get 350 divided by about 0 0.86 and we get approximately 429 hertz is the new frequency. So we see that if we increase the tension in our cord by 50%, our frequency goes from 350 to 429 hertz.